Hello students, this is Miss Diane and today I'm going to be going over the state board highlighting with foil application. Now they just read the instructions to me. I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my hands. There is one thing I did want to tell you before I start is that you're going to get your foils in something like this and it's going to be folded and it's going to be in your bag. Now what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and unfolded it. I um, cut it the other, folded it the long way and then I went ahead and cut my strips already from there. So then now I have them ready here on my table and when I take them out of the bag I'm just going to go ahead and open them up. Alright, so I have them ready to go. So don't try to go to state board and take this big old foil with you and then you're going to have to cut them there. Pre-cut them, alright, ahead of time. Alright, so yes, I disinfected my hands. I'm going to take my section out um, I and need to put my protective cream on. Um, some of the videos I watched, it said you didn't need to, but I know that when I do hair color, any chemical service that I do need to um, put protective cream. So I'm going to go ahead and do this just because I know and I was taught to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I do love that little lemony scent that it has too. So I'm going to wipe off the excess throw the paper towel in my trash. I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. Again, you want to try to get gloves that fit you. Otherwise, it makes it a little hard to work with. And these don't fit, but I'm going to make the best of it. Okay, so I have my gloves on. I'm going to open my product. They give you the lightener just for this procedure, so I can go ahead and open it up. I'm going to take my section out. I can go ahead and put this in my um, items to be disinfected container. Now, the first foil is probably going to be the hardest foil to do, right? Because you have this little round area, right? And some clients will have a widow's peak there. So, um, again, they said that you can take that out and move it to the side, but we wouldn't do that with a client, right? So we're going to have to do that area, so I'm going to go ahead and take a thin section here, and I'm going to go ahead and weave it. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and weave that. I'm going to bring this around. It's a little harder to do it on this side. Um, but you see what I did, right? I put the excess on the side there. Now I can go ahead and get my foil. I like to put a little bend in my foil Oops. on the outside, right? So I like to go ahead and fold it back onto my comb. So I have excess there. I'm going to go ahead and feed it in here like that. Okay, then I'm going to get my product there, and I'm going to start a little further down the foil. Okay, then I'm going to work my way up. You don't want to have too much of the front hairline, which is going to cause bleeds, right? I'm going to make sure that I move the hair around so that I get the product the lightener, right? All distributed evenly through that hair. Okay, so you can fold the foil any way you would like. Just don't press on it too hard. Alright? Okay, so I am going to push on both sides there. Now, they don't want this foil to flap in your client's face. Alright? 
So, and I have this little ledge here from bringing it over my comb. Now I can go ahead and open it up here. And so it will not cause any bleeding right there, right? But again, I don't want to have that there. So you can go ahead and choose to fold it again there and I can keep it right there all right I'll do my next one okay I'm going to give myself a little room here I'm going to put that over to the side there okay hold on I didn't get a clean area now remember you have to do it to the apex the apex is back here and you have to do four foils so I in between my foils I'm gonna take quite a bit of hair out there okay so I have my next one subsection here oops not enough hair let me go back and get a little more hair and it seems that my mannequin at that very top part kind of thin. Okay. There we go. Come back down. Get my next piece of foil. Put it in there. Get my product. Again, starting further down the foil, and then I'm going to work my way up. Making sure I get as close as I can. not necessary but why not okay then again I'm going to take a wider section see if I can clip it over that's my second foil I'm going for my third If you don't like the foil this long, you can go ahead and um, trim them down. Alrighty. Once you do that first thin section there, the rest should go fairly fast. Okay. Close it up there. And close it, and you can bring that foil down. Okay, I'm going to take another thick section right there. My last foil. I'm pretty far back here now. Okay. Another foil. Get your product. 
again, starting down my hair. And then I'm going to go back and work my way closer to the scalp there. Working the hair around so that the simulated lightener gets all over the strand. There. Fold the edges. You don't have to fold the edges if you don't want to fold the edges. Okay. And I'm going to bring this foil down. I'm going to go ahead and release this now. back. There you go. One, two, three, four foils. You can um, do another twist if you would like at the top so then that'll make them stand up. Just make sure that you don't push too hard. All right. Or at least do it to the front one. If you see that it's flopping in the face, go ahead and fold it over one more time and that'll stop that from happening. Okay but it seems pretty stable just like that too, right? Okay, so one, two, three, four. I did that already, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my tint brush out and I'm gonna go ahead and close my lightener up. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of this in my items to be disinfected bag. My gloves go in the trash bag I'm going to go ahead and disinfect my hands and then I'm going to step back and wait for further instructions. Foil. There are I've already done my relaxer back here and my hair color in the other back quadrant. So what I would have already had protective cream on there. Or actually you're going to do this first and then the other two um, procedures. So I am going to go ahead